Hi guys, Axe here. Time for a bit of straight talk. Um, normally I don't get involved in any political debates or anything like that. Um, it's really not my thing. Um, but this affects me on a personal level. Um, especially when it comes to vaping. Because this has stopped me smoking. It's improved my health. I can't say much more. What I want to talk about is the Tobacco Products Directive, Article 20. Now, this has already been passed by the uh, by EU, EU legislation. Um, and there are countries that are actually implementing this now. Um, I read this morning that Denmark is actually implementing this now. And it was really not a good thing. It has been hastily put together with no research uh, no nothing, you know, no big, um, no re no sort of real good backing behind it. It was done behind closed doors. Um, for me, that's not good at all. Basically, what this wants to do is um, it wants to cl classify vaping and e-liquids as tobacco products. Um, basically, so it wants to put this sort of thing in the same same bracket as smoking which really it is not in no way this may contain nicotine uh, which is derived from tobacco and other plants uh, such as tomatoes etc but that's as close as it gets vaping is not smoking full stop um, Basically, it also wants to sort of, um, along with the, um, like tobacco, it wants to stop the ads. You know, I'm fine with not having small ads here and there. I don't even mind that with cigarettes, but it's a case that if you stop it with vaping, as it's such a young thing, you're going to stop the knowledge. You're going to stop people sort of realising this can stop you smoking. Um, it stops so many people I know the smoking there are a couple of people I know still deal fuel but for me I'm not going back to smoking I'm staying on this no way am I doing this um, it's implementing uh, rules for hardware um, such as no tanks can be bigger than 2 mil 2 milliliters so that basically brings you down to your e-cigs, your, sort of your cig likes and really small ego type devices. So anything like your limos or your, your sub tanks will not exist anymore. Um, they must be leak free. Um, <laughs> this, is where, this, is, this is where I find it quite amusing. You're going to get leaks anywhere. You know, how are you going to stop something like you know, something like, this, like like a tank leaking? They've got to find some weird way of actually doing that. There's going to be some sort of leaking. Um, the filling mu filling mechanism must ensure leaks cannot happen, and there must be child safe, which is probably the the best thing. Really, you know, all your bottles, all your bottles that uh, you get your, your juice in are ch should be child safe. Anyway, so. That's the thing. Um, also, this is one of the big ones. Um, all products that are made must be registered six months before um, before they actually uh, are released, and then go through testing. That can result if a company does not do it, it can result in fines. So. Even the smallest bit of your bit of your um, your tank or whatever must be registered as as a device. So all your parts must be registered uh, registered as a um, and you know and be broken down and make sure it doesn't work. It works um, as as the law uh, as as the law stands currently. If as soon as it comes in, it comes into force in the UK or whatever it, if it does that makes all hardware all juice illegal for six months can you just 
where does the practicality of this come from? So, say, even your SIG likes, like you got Blue and stuff like this, the, the large companies, they've got to go through this and sort of say, you know, we need to register this, you know, and it's going to make it illegal for six months. Personally, that's fucking daft. I'm going to get around to here, so you're going to have to bear with me. Um, also, um, there are large costs in doing it. It will stifle any innovation that you, you, you want. You know, any, any, any innovation that, that's coming out. So, <laughs> going through stuff like the limos or the, the sub tank, you know, you're getting stuff like that. Any drip, well, I'm not too sure about drippers, but it's a case that any innovation you're sort of, you know, you're not going to be able to buy anything like this anymore if it comes in. You know, for me, um, it's, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Um, basically, any if you go if the com country is going going to import, the foreign sellers must go through the same same process as the domestic domestic um, companies, which makes sense in the confines of the of the actual uh, directive. But again, it's stifling the innovation that you know. It, it stifles the whole thing of you know getting your getting a decent device. It yeah. You know, it will actually stop. Yeah, you know, heavy smokers. If you think about it, you know, if you got heavy smokers, there's a directive that juice cannot be more than twenty milligrams, I think, and. Well, I was personally not that heavy a smoker. For heavy smokers, it will stop any um, any heavy smoker trying this. You know, trying vaping because it is another. It's an alternative, but it can also help you stop. For me, it just does not make sense at all. Um. Your juice manufacturers, yeah, you know, you've got your big, big juice manufacturers. Um, all they have to register all ingredients. Yes, I must. I forgot to switch my phone off again. Um, they must perform a toxicology report on all your juice. Different juice mixes. So if you have a fifty-fifty, uh, at one certain nicotine, you have a fifty-fifty at, at a different nicotine. Uh, that must be registered. If it's a 60-40, 60, uh, that's going to be registered. Registered. If you change one particular um, ingredient, say using a one particular menthol onto a different menthol, you've got to register that as well. That incurs huge, huge costs to your to production and everything like that. And again, it has to be registered six months in advance. Um, that essentially kills all your small um, small companies that are producing juice. You know, it would kill you. Know, as, for example, as of one of the smaller companies in Nottingham, Manabush. Well, it could kill them. In <laughs> you know. Even though they are getting ready for, I know they're getting ready for for, for, for stuff like this. They've got their, they've got all the um, all the clean rooms coming through and everything like that. But it could essentially kill them. Yeah, you know, it could essentially kill a smaller company. Um. So you know, we need to do something about this. We need to have, you know, we need to sort of stand up for our rights. Um. What I'm going to do is there are several, several, several um, petitions, um, organisations that want to, um, to uh, stop this. Um, stuff like, uh, excuse me, I'm going to have to switch to uh, switch down. Um, you've got um, 
the Vapors in Power. Uh, they're a UK political party that are trying to sort of help help out Vapors and trying to sort of you know get into Parliament and just try and make sure make sure we have a say. Um, there's the Article 20 legal challenge by um, uh, um, two seconds um, by Totally Wicked. Um, I'll be putting links links below here in a, in, when, as I'm as I'm going through, and I'll also put them in the description. Totally Wicked, the really quite large UK company, um, also has um, companies out in Germany and America that. Um, is challenging this. They have a petition you can sign. Um, they are going to meet with the with the EU, EU, EU Parliament, but the more names we can get on that, and the more you know, more support we can get for them, the better. There's a similar thing in a similar thing in France. Um, we've got the um, Edis. Um, basically, they, they've got a. a Petition as well to um, stop the stop the Article Twenty. Um, there's also if you if you know if you're a medical pro professional or if you're going to the doctors, go and support get them to try and support move the medical organisation supporting vaping and electronic cigarettes. No, I know my doctors. Um, prefer it, but I've not been up there for for, um, for a while. Um, if I do go up there, I will be getting them to try and support this. Yeah, I will be lobbying them to try and support this because vaping is not smoking. Full stop. Um, there, are, there are sort of surveys for public health in England. You can fill in. To try and stop stop this, um, there's all sorts. If you go to uh, the, the Vapors in Power, they have calls to action. They have links there of what you can do. Um, yeah, do it. Is all I can say is just do it. Stop this. The whole stupidity of this Article Twenty going through. It's really, really something we have to do. As yeah, you know, if you want to keep vaping, if you want to keep you know, if you don't want if personally, if I couldn't have this, then I'd still be smoking. I don't want to smoke. I turn my nose up at people these days if I'm walking past and smoking. I don't try not to do it, you know, obviously, but it really does make me want to just just eh. it smells horrible personally I want to make all vape all smokers vapors that's my that's my goal I want people to know about this this is why why I have this vlog I have my living with you know it's sort of, or the, the sideline into sort of all the kit I have and that sort of thing but honestly, I want people to know about vaping. I want, you know, I have things coming up through. Um, I'm going to be breaking down my vaping for beginners um, video. Um, I'm going to go into that in more depth. I have all sorts of different things um, coming through. Uh, I'm just looking at my list at the moment. Um, how, I got how I got involved properly rather than just touching on it um the whole thing is vaping safe yeah you know, i'll be going in into a whole um thing is of the research everything like that you know going through the pros and cons yeah but i'm going off on a on a sideline the for me this is about article 20 we need to stop it. Full stop. Remember guys, vaping's not smoking. Vaping is healthier in my opinion. This is my opinion. I'm not 
I'm not. I'm not a medical profession. I'm professional. I, yeah. You know, these is just my personal experiences. I have this vlog because I want people to know about vaping. Keep that in mind. But personally, keep on vaping, guys. Stop the madness. I'll catch you later. Cheer on.